Imagination is the key And with Flexo you will see a Flexillion possibilities Incredible Hey there Flexo fam, welcome along to another Flexo build. Today we're going to learn how to build the Flexo handbag. As you can see there's many different ways to build handbags and you can do it from so many different colours. Now you can choose any colour that you want but what we've done is we've taken the parts from a builder set and we've used that to make our purse. So we'll be using all the colours from the bright set. So, let's get building. When I started to build, I laid out all the pieces. What that helped me do was picture what it is I was actually gonna build. Guys, remember to use the token up in the top right hand corner. That's gonna let you know which tendons we're using as we build along together. So, as you can see, I've started with the T5 tendon and I'm putting that into my orange bricks. I like to build by having the tendon and the brick in my hands. I feel that I have greater control over putting the tendon into the brick, but we also recommend building on a flat hard surface and using the tool. And I use that technique later on in the build as well. So as we go along, you can see I'm placing the T5 tendons into the bricks. I'm doing it in a particular pattern that's going to help me when I try to push them all together to create one side of the handbag. Sometimes I'll push the tendons in and then I'll use the tool to just make sure that they're really in nice and snug. Now here you can see I've accidentally put two lots of tendons in so my planning didn't go as well as I thought it would. That's okay, pull the tendons out and now I can connect the orange and the red bricks together. Easy peasy. So guys, here with the yellow bricks, I'm using that technique I was talking about earlier by laying the bricks on the table and then poking the tendons in with the tool. Now as you can see, all the parts are starting to come together and we're getting one side of our handbag. So we'll keep putting those T5 tendons in and, and connecting all the bricks up. So there you have it, there's our first side of the handbag made. Then I moved across to building the other side of the handbag. It's going to be very similar. I rearranged some of the colours to how I wanted, but uh, it's essentially a very similar build. So back again with the T5 tendons, back into the bricks, and we continue the build as before. Just a quick reminder for you guys, while you're building, if, uh, if the video gets too far ahead, you can obviously pause and you can come back and re-watch some of the bits if you don't understand them. Also guys, would love you guys to comment down below. Let us know if you have any questions, queries, or things you're unsure of, and we'll make sure we get back to you with some answers.
Now for this particular side, we use our T11 tendon, right up there in the top right hand corner. And what we're going to do is we're going to surround the outer edge of this side with these T11 tendons. And as we go on, you'll see what they're going to be used for. So we're putting a T3, that's the shortest tendon in, and we're going to be using that in the future to make the buckle that's going to essentially help us close the handbag. Back to our T11s, here we're putting two of them in the top of this side, and what that's going to do is help us with the handbag strap further on. Here we're connecting the T19 tendons to a little blue triangle and what that's doing is building what we'll be using in the future for part of the buckle of the bag. So there you go guys, now you've got the second side done. You can pick it up, have a look at it. Just remember that when you haven't locked the tendons off yet, sometimes they can pop out. So be uh, fairly gentle and delicate when you pick it up. That's why we lock the tendons off with a second brick and that allows us to then be more robust with our movements with the handbag. So now that we have all the tendons in our second side of the handbag, we're going to use some other bricks to lock those tendons off. Nice and easy, super simple, just clip them down like a normal brick. If you're also building from the builder set, follow along with where we use circles and where we use squares, because later on we will need some of the other circles to build the strap on the handbag. So similar to the other side, we're going to throw in the T3 tendon and a triangle, and then of course connect in those longer T19 tendons. Then we'll cap that off with another triangle. So now on this side, some of the bricks have all their tendons in them, so we're going to lock them off by placing another brick on top. Just remember, we can't lock off all the bricks on this side of the bag just yet, because we still have a number of tendons to put into the outside bricks. Now that we've completed that side, it's time to put the two halves together. The easiest way to connect the two sides together is by placing one side of the handbag on top of the other, and then bending the T11 tendons around and into the brick. As you can see, once I've done this, the next thing I want to do is place a brick on top straight away to help lock those tendons in. This will stop the tendons from popping out. Again, you can use the tool to poke those tendons in, just like I've done for the yellow bricks. So what we're going to do is work our way around the outside of the handbag, bending all of these tendons in. This is one of the techniques we use a lot in Flexo, and it's a really handy one to know.
As we work our way around the handbag, remember to lock those tendons off. Now as you can see, I've made a small mistake here because one of the green circles I'm going to need to make the strap of the handbag. The Flexo multi-tool is super handy and makes it really easy to take bricks off. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the pick on the tool to separate the brick. And there we have it, the body of our handbag. Now for the second part of our build. What we're going to do is connect a whole bunch of T19 tendons and bricks together that's going to create the strap for our handbag. So once we've connected all the bricks together, we then take our strap and connect it to our handbag. We do this by connecting our strap to those two T11 tendons that we put into the handbag earlier. Now for the final part of the handbag, here you can see I'm making the buckle that we will be connecting to the two long T19 tendons in the middle of the bag and that's going to create a lovely little clasp or buckle for us to close the handbag. Remember to lock the brick off as soon as you've got that tendon in, this will make sure that it doesn't pop off while you try to put the other one in. So the last part of the build is the final blue triangle. Once this is on, we've made our handbag. Let's close it up and there you go. Guys, as always, remember, comment below if you have any questions or any thoughts. If you've got some cool ideas for things that we could build, let us know and we'll try and make a video on those as well. And as always guys, remember, subscribe and turn that notification bell on. We're going to be coming to you every week with a new Flexo build. Alright guys, that's us for this week. But remember, get out there, think differently, be creative and enjoy yourself.